Hi friends, it's Katie and I'm back with another review. Today we are going to be talking about Homeworks Winter Fireside. If you have been following Homeworks for quite some time or if you've been a fan of the brand for a while, you will know that this is not a new fragrance. However, there are a lot of new people discovering Homeworks for the very first time, especially with the brand becoming more available in retailers like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack. I'm trying to think, you know, but prior to that, they seem to be sold exclusively through QVC and then also on the homeworks.shop website. I also just discovered recently that they are now being sold at Macy's. How exciting is that? Now, the thing is, is that they are retailing for full price through Macy's, but who knows, maybe they will offer some sales and it's always great when there are additional places for us to purchase our candles from. Like I said earlier, this is not a new fragrance to the Hallmarks lineup. In fact, I am not quite certain, but I believe that this one has been around maybe since the beginning of the brand, since the launch, maybe about four or five years ago. Don't quote me on that, but I do know that this scent has been around for, I want to say at least three or four years because this is the candle that I lovingly call my gateway candle. If you missed my review, or not review, but some of the suggestions for candles that I recommend burning in early November, this is one of the candles that I mentioned. And I talked about how this candle was the one that turned me on to the Homeworks brand. So this is the standard four wick, 18 ounce jar. The label has remained consistent pretty much since I first purchased it. Obviously, this is not the candle that I purchased <laughs> three or four years ago. This is one that I have purchased, um, I want to say maybe it was it a couple of months ago. Um, I purchased this one, I believe, from the homeworks.shop website sometime during a summer sale, I believe. But I did also see it at my local home goods, and it was being sold for $16.99 there. So like I said, I know that this one is showing up in a couple of uh, retailers. It's also showing up at Macy's right now. Now the label, like I said, is that wraparound label. It looks beautiful. As you can see, the candle is lit up right now. And as more wax dissipates from the wax pool, that light only seems to flicker even more. I think Harry um, and his design team have done a fabulous job with most of the labels for Homeworks. They create such a beautiful ambiance in addition to the scent stories that they put together. So while we're talking about scent, the fragrance notes on this one are sultry incense, smoked firewood, rich clove buds, and mold spices. So I will say that what I have picked up from the Homeworks Facebook group is that this candle is very polarizing. People either love it or they don't like it at all. I happen to fall into the camp, obviously, that I love it. This to me is like, the perfect winter, fall, late fall, all throughout the winter type of scent. It is cozy, um, but the, it's not like you're sitting around a campfire smoke. Now, some people might disagree with me. I know that the people who don't like this scent say that it is just too smoky for them. I, I can see where they're saying that. However, I find that the smokiness is perfectly balanced out with clove and the mold spices. There is a little bit of an incense scent, but um, as I have said before, you, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but um, I grew up in California. <laughs> I'm familiar with what incense is typically used for, and um, I don't really get like too much of that vibe in here. Predominantly what my nose smells is the smokiness, the clove, and those mold spices. I absolutely love this scent. Now, generally when we move into the month of December, I like to pair this along with a scent like white birch or a tree note because it, those two combined really just seem to encompass the warmth of Christmas to me. Um, but like I said, this is not a specific holiday scent. This is one that I think is good to start burning right now. And you could actually continue to burn it after the holidays. This is a really nice scent. Um, I will say that the burn on this one has been pretty good for me. I am noticing, if you guys can see those wicks, I'm not sure 
quite how well the wicks are going to focus in there for you. Um, I am noticing that some of these fall and winter scents that I've picked up recently are developing those carbon balls at the end of the wicks. However, my wicks, what I will say is that they are not falling over. They're not traveling. So to be honest with you, I would rather deal with the carbon balls than the floating wicks because the carbon balls once i blow out the candle can always be trimmed off and they're not falling into the wax now you want to make sure that you do not let your candle burn for longer than i would say three hours after three hours you want to extinguish it let the wax harden go ahead and trim those carbon balls off and then go ahead and relight your candle or maybe just go for another fragrance switch it up you know i forget sometimes not everybody's like me and always wants to switch up their fragrances, but I know that there's quite a few of you that do. Uh, the strength and throw on this one, strength of it, I would say is about a seven and a half. It's pretty strong, but again, it is not headache inducing. If you saw my cranberry wreath review, I had mentioned that sometimes I am most comfortable with the strength being in that six and a half to seven range, because then I find that the scent is enough for me to notice without it be, without it being headache inducing or just taking over the room. I personally don't really want that in my candles. I will say that the throw on this one is probably, I would say, about a six. Um, it's nice enough that it fills up my open concept living room, which is right behind the candle here. Um, there are high ceilings. My home is about 1,700 square feet, open concept, ranch style, which means single story. So this is a scent that it is pleasant and nice smelling within my living room. I can still smell it within my kitchen, which is where I'm at right now. I mean, obviously, I'm sitting in front of it, but... Um, when it's burning where it normally does in my living room. I can generally smell it in the kitchen, but once I get into the bedrooms, I'm not smelling it anymore. So I would say that for this one, the strength of the candle is a little bit stronger than the throw, which is okay for me because like I said, sometimes I want to pair it with a tree scent as we go into the holidays. I would say that if you are somebody that does not like smoky woodsy scents, this is not going to be a candle for you. Also, if you don't like clove, you probably won't like this one. Although I wouldn't say that the clove is overpowering in this, um, but, but I do smell a bit of it. Um, and I do smell some of that mold spice, but to me, I think it's just the most beautiful blend. I absolutely love it. It does not remind me so much of like a campfire. And believe me, I've had quite a few of those recently. Um, for those of you who may be new, I live in Arizona. And so I do have an outdoor fire pit in our backyard that we like to use a lot of the time during this time of year when the weather finally cools off. And we can, um, when we entertain, we like to have just a little gathering around the fire pit. Sometimes we have kids roast marshmallows and it's a lot of fun, but this doesn't remind me of like a campfire. Uh, this, and it's not even like if you're familiar with the, uh, um, by the fireside or marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works, this just seems like a much more sophisticated, I guess you would say like it's a sophisticated take on a fire note. That's the best way that I can describe it. it. It smells like a fireside scent, but it's very, very sophisticated and lovely in my opinion. Like I said, this candle is currently on the homeworks.shop website. It's also available at Macy's and also at your TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshalls. I mean, maybe not at yours, but it was nearby me. Now that stock is constantly changing, so I can't guarantee that that's where you will find it. This candle does retail for $30, like I said, I, or I hope I said earlier that this is the four wick 18 ounce jar. And this candle, um, I would never pay $30 for because there are constantly sales on the homeworks.shop website. Um, maybe Macy's will offer some sales. I don't know. When I purchased this one at Home Goods, it was $16.99 plus tax. So, you know, and you want to remember that if you purchase through the homeworks.shop website, you're also eligible to use influencer codes most of the time in addition to any kind of sales. Um, so that's a great way for you to just make your dollars stretch. Overall, this is an obvious two thumbs up for me. I will always have this one, or I should say that as long as Harry brings this one out every year, I don't ever see myself 
not having this one in my winter collection. I just love it that much. I hope you liked this review. I know that this candle has been um, questioned in the Hallmarks Facebook group, or I know that a lot of new members have asked about thoughts about this one. And so that is why I felt compelled to make a video. So that way we have one to reference in the future. Oh, I also forgot to say that if you do enjoy this scent like I do, this candle is also available or this scent is also available in the 80 ounce Lux candle. I, the big mama jama one, you know, I believe the glass vessel is maybe blue. Don't quote me on that, but I believe the vessel on it is blue. And that is also currently available on the homeworks.shop website. Let me know in the comment box down below, do you love this one? Or are you in the camp that just says, oh no, that one is just way too smoky for me. I'd be curious to know what you all think about this one. Don't forget that if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you are just stumbling across my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Katie. I would love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. I like to share home fragrance and beauty content here on my channel. YouTube should be suggesting a couple more videos at the end of this one, things that they think you might like. If you have the time, I'd love for you to stick around and watch them, but if not, I just want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today, and until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.